Good morning guys, this is Sector. Today is the 18th of uh, July 2007. It's uh, 15 past 8 uh, London time um, in the morning. And uh, well, I, I triggered a long entry, uh, sorry, a short entry on on the Canadian dollar uh, of a triangle breakout. Um, this triangle, uh, I'm showing you the one-hour time frame, uh, one-hour time frame chart. Okay, this triangle that I'm showing you guys right now, okay, with uh, a breakout uh, during the Tokyo session, pullback, retesting, a breakout levels, and a continuation making new lows for the die, and that's what I've, I've triggered my my entry my short entry if you remember I was already uh, involved uh, in this uh, in this currency pair I, I entered uh, a short uh, a short trade at uh, 104.95 a few days ago um, current market price is uh, 104.05 uh, uh, 06 uh, 0, 0, 010 right now and uh, I am right now uh, plus 82 pips in profit in this trade from here uh, so uh, I've moved stop down to here, okay, in order to uh, well to um, uh, save some pips, uh, trail my stop a little bit, protect my my profits a little bit, and then since my my uh, stop loss on this on this trade is moved to a break even or better, I'm, I'm uh, comfortable to enter a second position to add up to my short position on the uh, Canadian dollar. Um, Entry level uh, on this new trade is 10407, right there. <coughs> um, uh, stop loss will be placed up here, uh, right there at uh, 10430. And uh, like I say, I was basically, uh, I was basically, uh, um, I'm basically trading this uh, triangle uh, breakout. Okay. Um, if, if we zoom into the into the uh, longer time frames, we are seeing that at this level, the uh, uh, 104.45 had been working as support with a triple top there. Uh, it finally gave way yesterday, and then it entered uh, a, a period of consolidation. Okay, you see all these consecutive bars. Okay, uh, basically moving sideways. The ones that I'm showing right now on the charts. Okay, um, and I was just basically waiting for this uh, consolidation area to break to the downside in the direction of these beautiful moving averages, all right? Uh, that's what's just happened. Uh, I quickly sent an email to the guys on my on my mailing list, uh, um, letting them, letting them know of this of this uh, setup uh, unfolding right now in in real time. In case well, in case they, well, you know, they they, they want to uh, they want to follow it uh, in real time. So, like I said, I sent them a, a quick email um, uh, with this setup. Um, anyway, so like I say, triangle breakouts, okay, breakout pullback continuation. They got. Oh, sorry, someone is knocking on my door. I'm pausing the video now. One second. Hi guys, just a quick update to let you know that I've been stopped out on um, uh, the Canadian dollar on this strike that I had taken um, about uh, about a couple of hours ago uh, on this uh, triangle breakout. All right, so minus 29 pips on this strike. Bye bye. Hi guys, uh, this is Hector. The uh, the news on the uh, Canadian uh, inflation data have just uh, come out, and as you can see, well, it spiked price up uh, quite heavily. Uh, it's also stopped uh, my uh, triggered my uh, trail stop that I have to, uh, I had moved from uh, 104.95, which was my original entry, down to 104.55. So my first position on the uh, uh, USD Canadian dollar uh, has been stopped at uh, plus 40. And this try that I took this morning, if you remember, uh, was a minus 29, uh, a minus 29 uh, uh, loss. Unfortunately, so all in all, plus 11. Such a shame. Quite honestly, I'm I'm, I'm not happy about this uh, at all. Because well, it, it, it was. Um, uh, it, it was a nice trade, the, the original one, uh, it looked very nice, in a very nice downtrend, 
uh, unfortunately I well I, I didn't get very lucky on on the uh, second portion of uh, of the trade first of all on this uh, triangle breakout which also looked nice but it found a very strong support uh, of the uh, 104 double round number perhaps it was my mistake perhaps I should have waited I should have placed my uh, my sell stop five pips uh, below the round number as I usually do um, I'm, I'm still undecided I will I will uh, reanalyze this trade I will rewatch uh, my own video and well uh, determine where whether I, I made a mistake or not. Um, what can I say, guys? We all make mistakes, in, and of course, I, I make them uh, <laughs> on a daily basis. Uh, so, um, yeah, perhaps I, I, I should have been a little bit more conservative and, and waited for the uh, for the um, uh, for the round number to be broken. Uh, but I saw this double bottom being broken to the downside. I saw this uh, triangle uh, broken to the downside and retested with a with a break up pull by continuation pattern uh, clearly a downtrend as per the moving averages so what can I say I don't know I, I had a, a, str a very strong um, a trend on my side I, I had the uh, the entry from a technical analysis point of view and I thought that well you know it was uh, it, it was it was worth a shot okay it was worth a try um, this strike turns sour immediately after uh, after I entered, basically one hour and a half or two hours later, I was stopped out at minus 29. And uh, well, uh, honestly, I thought that this first entry, the entry that I took at 104.95 a few days ago, I thought it, 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 it was going to run quite, quite uh, <coughs> quite a nice, uh, well, you know, uh, yeah, quite a, uh, definitely a, a longer, uh, a longer run uh, to the downside. Okay, I, I thought, I, I really thought it was a good try, then, well, you know, that it, it would have, it would have given me quite a, you know, a nice, nice pips uh, on these trades, but uh, two events on a row today uh, that when they w went against me, first of all, the 104 double o round number, very, uh, it definitely act as, as, as uh, strong support price slapped it and and basically rebounded in 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 momentum to the upside and second uh the news were um were very uh were bearish for the canadian dollar and therefore the american dollar against the canadian dollar is shooting to the upside uh, uh it's already moved um uh well, 70 pips today uh, 71 pips to be exact and well, uh, basically, my trail stop has been uh, triggered. So, like I say, all in all, in this uh, uh, Canadian dollar trade plus 11 pips, all in all, like I say, I'm not very happy about this trade at all. But what can I say? That's trading for you. All right, folks. Goodbye.